It can be incredibly frustrating to have a fire stick stuck on the Fire TV logo screen or caught in a boot loop. But don't worry, in most cases, resolving this issue is relatively easy. In this video, I'll provide you with some straightforward solutions. However, if these do not resolve your issue, don't worry. I do have additional advanced tips to offer as well as some valuable advice towards the end of the video. So make sure to watch to the end. Before we start, a quick reminder that a VPN is another essential app for your Fire Stick if you want to unlock its full streaming potential. Atlas VPN is a great choice and unblocking geo-restricted content is a great example of how it can benefit you. If you live in the US, you can collect Atlas VPN to a UK server and watch Netflix content from the UK library and vice versa. Check out the link in the description or pinned comment below to get Atlas VPN for just $1.83 a month, plus three extra months for free. If you haven't tried it already, a simple solution to resolve Fire Stick issues is to allow it to cool down and power down completely. Now this may seem obvious, but it could do the trick. Remove your Fire Stick from the TV and the power source. If you have any attachments like an OTG cable, adapter or USB hub, remove those as well. Wait at least five minutes. Then reconnect your Fire Stick to the TV and power supply. If you've attached any peripherals, it's best to leave them disconnected for now. This will help determine if your accessories are causing your problems. If your Fire Stick can power up without the attachments, consider replacing the OTG and ensuring that you use compatible attachments. You can check out the links in the description and pinned comment below for my recommendations. If you're experiencing an issue with your Fire Stick using a USB port on your TV or a non-original power adapter may be the cause. It's likely that your Fire Stick isn't receiving the necessary amount of power to boot up fully. For best results, use the original power adapter that came with your Fire Stick. Also, try plugging it into a different outlet. If using the power adapter doesn't solve the issue, consider replacing the power cable, preferably with the official one from Amazon that came with the device. If you've lost the originals, you can find links in the description and pinned comment below. Alternatively, you can also try using any other micro USB cable, as many people often have a spare one at home, and it may work just as well as the original. It is possible that your TV's HDMI port is causing issues. To troubleshoot, disconnect all HDMI devices from your TV and try plugging your Fire Stick to each port one by one. Then test each HDMI port to see if this resolves the problem. If this doesn't work, try your Fire Stick on a different TV. Now, when I last had an issue with my 4K Fire Stick stuck on a boot loop, this was the solution that worked for me. I left my Fire Stick overnight, and when I checked it in the morning, it had returned to the home screen. 
Now, sometimes your Fire Stick may just need a bit of extra time to process a task that it's stuck on in the background. Try leaving it alone for at least a few hours or overnight if you can. Chances are it will be fixed by the morning. Performing a factory reset on your device can be done using the remote control. This process will restore your device to its original settings and erase all data and personalizations. But it is a helpful solution in case of technical issues like a boot loop. To initiate a factory reset, press and hold the right directional button and the back button simultaneously for approximately 10 seconds. A message will appear on your screen confirming that the reset has been initiated and will occur automatically. If you have a wired USB keyboard and an OTG cable or adapter, there's an advanced tip you can try. You can put your Fire Stick into safe mode by pressing a few buttons on your keyboard. If you're interested in trying this step but don't have the necessary equipment, you can find helpful links in the description and pinned comment below. To connect a wired USB keyboard to your Fire Stick, plug an OTG cable or adapter into your device. This will create a USB port that you can use to connect the keyboard. Afterwards, plug the power supply into the OTG cable or adapter to complete the setup. To activate safe mode on the Fire Stick, you need to press and hold five different keys simultaneously. When you see the Fire TV logo, Press and hold the Control and Alt buttons with one hand and with the other, press and hold the Menu, Print Screen and I buttons. Hold down the buttons until Safe Mode appears in the bottom left corner, then release. Your Fire Stick should then be back at the Home screen in Safe Mode. Try a simple restart to see if this fixes your problem or perform a factory reset. Additionally, if you sideloaded an app before your problem started, this app could be the cause of your issue. Try uninstalling it and then check if removing it fixes the issue. If all of these tips provided do not resolve the issue, it may be worthwhile reaching out to Amazon. Defective devices are covered under the manufacturer's warranty and consumer rights, so discussing your options with Amazon could be beneficial. Some customers have even received a free replacement or a discount on a new device. If you want to purchase a new Fire Stick, you can find links in the description and pinned comment below. I hope these tips helped fix your Fire Stick issues. If they did, please let me know which one worked for you in the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and helps to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers. And I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow.